Hey you guys, it's Tiffany with Our Organic Life. I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me today. And also I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to our amazing followers. It is such a joy to wake up every morning and read your amazing and supportive comments on our videos. We really, really appreciate you. If you are not a subscriber though, be sure to hit that little subscribe button down below and ring the bell so that you get notifications whenever we post new videos. In the meantime, today, we are sick. So I am gonna be sharing with you a recipe for an immunity boosting juice that is not only tasty, but will help boost your immune system to fight off any infections you might be dealing with right now. So one great thing about this recipe is you do not need to have a juicer, because let's be honest here, I do not need any more appliances. I'll be sure to give a big thumbs up on our videos, leave a comment below and enjoy. So today's recipe, our end goal is to make a half a gallon of juice. Usually you would make a single serve juice, but we want to make some juice for Davis to enjoy whenever he gets home. So as you can see, we are using a lot of fruit and not just a lot of fruit, but a lot of varieties of fruit. We have some apples, lemons, some mandarins, carrots, kale, cucumber, oranges, some ginger root, and one mango. Remember how to peel? Or you want to peel the mandarin? The only tools you are going to need for this is a cutting board, a knife, and a blender or a food processor. Either will work just fine for this. And then you are going to need a bowl and a clean dish cloth. So your blender may be getting a little full at this point, that's okay. You may just need to blend it down a little bit before you add some more fruit. And you may decide to just make a single serving, but like I said, I'm making a half a gallon. So if you decide you're just making a single serving, then use less fruit. So we are now at our halfway point where I have half of our ingredients all blended up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and strain off what I have now in our bowl.
If you like mangoes a lot, then you could even add more. I just don't want to overpower the juice with a heavy mango flavor. We're gonna go ahead and blend up this batch now. And as always, when you have a full, go ahead and add a half a cup of water just to help it blend up smoothly. And now we're gonna strain one more time. sweetener um, we actually decided to add some honey to sweeten it up a little bit because majority of ours was oranges and they are of course a little tart so and of course any sweetener of your choice you could use stevia or if you have no <laughs> if you're not worried about it you can add sugar but the honey definitely helps as well with your immune system do I do I get to have any <laughs> It's just too good. Well, I am glad that you love it, baby. So, I don't just love it. You don't just love it? I extravagant to love it! <laughs> So if you guys like this recipe, be sure to leave a big thumbs up. Thank you. Do I get to have a little bit left? Yeah. Thank you. So be sure to give, leave a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts. And if there's any other fruits that you would add, let me know. Um, but be sure if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications. So in the meantime, happy homesteading. Bye-bye. <laughs>